So, you know, uh, for many, many, many centuries, uh, gardeners have used plants medicinally. And I'm here with the lovely Laura at uh, Portland Nursery on Stark Street, who also, Laura, you raise, you have a company called Mostly Medicinal, yes. so you raise medicinal plants and herbs. I do. I grow medicinal plant starts in my backyard, um, and I sell them here at Portland Nursery. Um, and I also sell at Farmer's Market and Blue Heron Herbs out on Sovi Island. This is one of my plants. This is motherwort. Um, and it's a great women's herb and um, helps uter uterine tonic. And nice. Very nice in that direction. Um, another one that's very popular, and at home mine are blooming and they're gorgeous. This is arnica. There's many species of arnica, and this is chemisoensis, which I find very easy to grow in Portland. So that's another thing I focus on, are medicinals that are easy to grow here. Okay. Um, and this arnica, you harvest the flowers, you make oils, best thing for bruises. Mm. Essential for anybody who has a skateboarder in the house. <laughs> um, <laughs> another one that um, I'm asked for in different cultures, you learn a lot about cultures with different medicinals. Mm -hmm. and. Rue is very popular among the Latino cultures, and they use it for digestion quite mm. a bit. It helps an uneasy stomach. Um, and another culture that goes back centuries for medicine is the Chinese yes. medicine, and um, TCM, or traditional Chinese medicine. A very popular one for that is the goji berry here. Um, and not only just tasty, but a good tonic. And um, they make these red berries that come on in late summer and fall. Mm -hmm. It's a good tonic herb and um, just extremely tasty as well. And it's kind of a rambling, vining um, perennial. It would really take well the training then. Yeah, definitely. Nice. I have one taking over though. <laughs> <laughs> um, another Chinese, there's so many, is um, Codonopsis pilciolata or Dongshin. And the root is used in this case. Um, it's something that's used as a tonic, and the Chinese cook with a lot of their medicine, so mm -hmm. this would be something that would be cooked in a stew. Well, I think everybody recognizes lavender there, Laura. Yes. But what does that do besides the fragrance? Besides and, the know. delicious, <laughs> calming fragrance. Um, it's also fantastic at healing scars. So if you're making a salve for your skin with um, calendula or um, putting some lavender in will help heal scars really? as huh. well. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Monarda is another old garden plant. Yep. This is another one that's got some antimicrobial properties. Um, so if you have a cold coming on, it can just um, increase the power of the echinacea here. Beautiful. And, um, and it's actually really, this is a really tasty one, the Monarda, so it's good in tea. Um, you know, where now there's a there's one specific plant that, that you brought up before we started uh, doing this today, Laura. Yes. D tell us a little bit about this before I take the plant. Okay. Here. Talking about interesting antiseptic plants, toothache plant is fantastic. Um, it's great for a mouthwash, um, and it literally has a numbing effect when you eat it, thus its name. So it can be used with babies that are teething as well. All right. Now, I wasn't warned the first time I was given this to eat. Uh, <laughs> But I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go crazy or anything, right? Oh well, you know, talk to you tomorrow. <clears throat> wow, wow, you can already feel it. Yes. It, like makes your tongue numb. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, if I can't finish the interview, it's your fault now. Oh <laughs> well, darn. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> yes. So a couple more here: yarrow and blueberries. Again, yeah. old garden plants. Exactly. But what what are their purposes medicinally? Um, they have multiple uses. The one I happen to know, yarrow is great at stopping bleeding. Really? Um, I've had a cut on my finger and had no access to other uh, medical supplies, so I crushed the yarrow up <laughs> and put it on my wound, and it did. It literally helped it stop bleeding. Wow. And um, the blueberries, besides being delicious? The, the blueberries, delicious, and it's great for, um, it's a great male tonic. It actually wow. helps support the male's system. Well, Laura, you know, although this seems like a lot of plants, this really scratches the surface of medicinal oh, plants. certainly. And, you know, we certainly don't want you going out into your garden and just start eating things, you know. I mean, there are some dangers involved with some of them, and like the toothache plant, my whole mouth is numb. <laughs> uh, but it's still fun. So uh, we would invite you to go to Gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to Laura's website. There's also classes and stuff all over. There's there several classes and courses that you can take here in town, um, and you can Google that. Or um, there's also the herb shop on Portland, uh, Hawthorne, that um, gives classes. Well, the beauty about, you know, gardening is that you can always learn something new about plants. Thank you so much for sharing knowledge You're with welcome. us, Laura, yeah. and uh, get out there and do some medicinal planting in your gardens. Yeah.